the screen you have different options it's kind of set up like a, like an iPhone so that so the operators maybe has some familiar familiar can say that word familiarity with um, this system even though they haven't been familiar with it um, so anyway you have different practices of tillage planting um, application like manure fertilizer harvest and you go into a setup menu and you can set up those different um, those different applications for different pieces of equipment that you might use and most of those are already set up for Tim and today we did planting and here we choose the the equipment that that's set up in the display he's got a John Deere tractor 6420 and our implement was the John Deere 7420 and up here is a drop down menu for his corn planter if his corn planter was hooked up but today we're going to use the drill. Uh, our next menu is the field that we're in and um, this spring we set up all of Tim's fields on our software at our shop, made boundary boundaries for his fields so when he goes into the field he can automatically, uh, as long as he's in that field it'll automatically select that and if he wanted to pre-select it there's a list of all his fields for his farm. And as we're in that field, we're working. And then product selection, um, we just called this product one, but you could add a new product. It might be soybeans, corn, oats, sorghum, whatever crop you're doing. Units is planted would be um, seeds or pounds, generally seeds. So if there's a. We're in a field, so maybe we're like interceding some alfalfa today, we can pretend. And then you could put in your manufacturer name with a variety, maybe it's, uh, we'll just hybrid might be alfalfa one variety, could be anything, a 331 for example, whatever that, it's just a made up number. Yeah. And then we're into our field and we just did the auto steer demonstration so we would make a we could choose our pattern here uh, straight patterns adaptive curves identical curves adaptive will adjust as you adjust identical will match the first pass that you made straight will just grid out your field with straight a b lines um, smart path you could switch it up and uh, pivot would be a circle and maybe on the irrigation system you might use that for some reason. And the guidance width usually matches your implement width. And then you're on your on your main run screen and as you're running that'll fill in with a coverage map of what area you've applied and the different um, over here would be a menu if we were doing uh, application rates we'd have target rates of one and two if we were spreading manure maybe we can look at that at a, on another video at some point mm -hmm. has a split screen option so you can look at different views all right so to get started on your first pass you have to start a set an av line you have to set a point Once it's found the line, it'll stay on that line. 